Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah. But before we start the show, remember, you should always support the Horror Twins. Where? That's right. You guessed it. OfficialHorrorTwins.com. Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt or a hat. Don't forget about the beard products. Yeah, get 20% off. Use discount code Dr. Falsy. Yeah. It's not spelled like he spells it. We spell it F-A-L-S-E-Y because he's false C. <laughs> Today's topic, the blue. We back the blue. Uh, thank you to all the police officers out there. It's a tough job. You put your life on the line each and every day to keep the citizens of this country safe. Yeah. Y'all don't get the appreciation that y'all deserve. Yeah. But some we, of y'all, some of y'all need some more training. <laughs> we back the blue and we support y'all. 100%. Yeah, but it's a, it's a, it's a few of y'all. Yeah, there's some bad apples out there. Well, I wouldn't call them bad apples. They need more training, I would say that. <laughs> and of course, there's some bad apples. but It's a bad apple. I ran into some asshole. Well, there's right? some bad apples, yeah. and there's some good ones that need some more training. <laughs> no, I'll put it to you like this. There's some good police officers. Yeah. There's some jerks out there. Yeah, bad apples. No, I won't I would call them bad. I will call them jerks. And then you have some bad apples that do what they want to do, and they don't care, and everybody's against them, and they're just total just jerks. They shouldn't be yeah. cops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Goes without saying. Yeah. Y'all understand where we coming from. Yeah. Check this video out. No! I want my dad! The police body cam footage is difficult to watch. Rochester, New York police try to force a nine-year-old girl into the back of their squad car. She refuses and a struggle ensues, all as she screams nonstop for her dad. Officers wrestle the girl dressed in bright floral leggings to the snowy ground and put her in cuffs. The child continues screaming for her father. Cops urge the child to calm down. Take a breath. Stop. You're all right. Stop. The girl continues to resist as officers try to get her into the squad car. They say they were called to her home after a report of family trouble. Sit up. No. You're acting like a child. I want to him a child. A female officer then issues this warning. She'd better comply or she'll be pepper sprayed. Uh, yeah. This is your last chance, otherwise pepper spray is going in your eyeballs. Come on, let's go. Yeah. What's her name? I don't know her name. Finally, one cop has had enough. Just, just spray her. Just spray her at this point. The officer pumps out the pepper spray and the child screams for help. Please wipe my eye! Wipe my eye, please! Today, the police officers find themselves under fire from their own police chief. I'm not going to stand here and, and tell you that for a nine-year-old to have to be uh, pepper sprayed is okay. It's not. The girl was transported to the hospital and has since been released to her family. Inside Edition spoke to retired LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey, who says, in her opinion, there was absolutely no need to pepper spray a child. She's in handcuffs. You're about to put her in the back of your police car. She won't put her legs in, so we pepper spray her. Is that what we do, officers? You get her little legs and you shove them in the car if you have to, and you close the door behind her. Now, remember, everybody. You have to remain objective. I support the blue, but if you do not remain objective, you are no better than AOC's minions. Yeah, I mean. You do not blindly follow anybody. Yeah, I, I back the blue, but yeah. I'm not going to get on my knees and suck you off just because you're wearing a uniform. <laughs> I'm over. <laughs> Sorry to the evangelicals just watching us. That's, That's just, a really horrible analogy if you're a Christian. Yeah. And but, we're Christians. Don't get it twisted. Look, let's get to the story. The girl's nine years old. I s understand she's she's not behaving. I, yeah. I get all that. But she got in the car, push her ass in the car, yeah. and shut the damn door. <laughs> she's Why? handcuffed. She's handcuffed. Why? I mean. Why you got to pepper spray a nine-year-old girl after she's been handcuffed? Yeah. In my book, that is, I mean, I can't put it no better than this. This is. This is torture. I've been pepper sprayed. Yeah. I've been, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm having flashbacks. I've been pepper sprayed. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is awful. It is, man, I wouldn't. If a cop pulled out his pepper, pepper spray, I said, no, please, please, just shoot me. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would say. I've been pepper sprayed before. Yeah. That, you, I couldn't breathe. My face is on fire. Yeah. And you can't, you can't look where you at. It, 
Yeah. I mean, it's kind of scary when you can't breathe. It's like you got a bad case of COVID. Yeah. She's nine years old. And she can't breathe and she's got handcuffs on. She can't even wipe her damn eyes. Yeah. Can you imagine how terrified this little girl was? I'd this been, little girl was, man. I, I, how much pain? Yeah, I would have screamed in the back of that police car, and I'm a grown man. She's not. I mean, yeah. I think what the cop said at the beginning, get in the car, you're acting like a child. I was like, this is not going to end well. And it's like. And then the other cop. I'm like, thank ultimate. you. I'm like, thank you, Captain Obvious. She's a child. <laughs> I mean, she, I guess you could say she's a no, big nine-year-old. It was but, a pretty dumb thing. To say. Hey, stop it. You're acting like a damn child. <laughs> <laughs> she's nine years old. But that's the thing, and I want to point something out. Cops are human. They make mistakes. Stop yeah. thinking these people are robots. Yeah. Stop Stop thinking these people are, are, are above reproach, man. These people are human. And stop when a cop does something wrong. Don't st- demonize them all. Stop demonizing. Stop. Don't, I wouldn't even say demonize his cop. His actions is, I don't agree with any of what they did. The pepper spray, the handcuffs, everything's cool. When you pepper sprayed this little girl, man, that I was not down for that. Yeah. There's no need to. Your life is not in danger. She's just resisting and going into a police car before she talks to her daddy. And yeah. it's two of you. It's yeah. two. I mean, in some circles, um, did she really have to be handcuffed? Yeah. I mean, I could see if she's That's like, debatable. I mean, it's That's debatable. debatable. But I- I'm going to tell you like this. She's handcuffed. And on top of that, she's nine years old. There is absolutely no need to pepper spray. Yeah, you girl. push your ass in the car and shut the damn door. That's it's, what you do. It's two of you. One of y'all could have got back in a police car. I'm not sure if y'all drove together or y'all came in separate cars, but one of y'all could have, the female could have got in the back and you could have kind of consoled her. She's yeah. a, I mean, she's not a criminal. She's a little girl. She's uh, under some kind of mental distress. That's yeah. why the parents called her. That, that would have been a good idea. Yeah, for the female at least. You know, us men, we're just brutes. But that female. Yeah. Well, she was trying to do that. What did she say? She said, look, get in the car. It's cold out. You're going to catch hypothermia. But if you don't listen, I'm going to pepper spray your ass. I don't think that statement helped anything. I'd rather, I'd rather get hypothermia. You care about my safety, but you're going to burn my damn eyeballs out with some pepper spray. With my hands behind my back, and I cannot even try to relieve the pain that I'm going through. A nine-year-old girl. Yeah. And on top of this, y'all know what what today looks like. You are two white police officers. Yeah. And this girl is black. Yeah. She's definitely black. You know how they're going. I mean, you could take race out of this. You could have been black police officers. This could have been a white little girl. I would have still told y'all what y'all did pepper spraying that little girl yeah. was yeah. bad. Because we're objective. Because we remain But you got to understand the political climate we're in right now. Yeah. You got to understand that. Yeah. She's black. Yeah. And you're two white cops. I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the I her, things happen fast, too, though. I yeah. mean, we wasn't in our shoes. I know it's easy for us to be Monday, Monday morning quarterback on this. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. But, damn. I got push you. your ass in the car and close the damn door on her. I got, I got kids. If I, if I was a little girl and she screamed for that, I would uh, sympathize with her. I probably got in the car with her and tried to console her. That's yeah. a kid, man. Nine years old. Yeah, but uh, I, I've taught my kids when the cops come, yeah. if you ever interact with the cops, mm. follow their orders. They're peace, they're peace officers. They have the right to tell you what to yeah. do under a lot of circumstances. So yeah. just follow with the cops. No no brash movements, no rash movements. Just yeah. be calm. And you and you got to look at it, too. Her parents called the cops for y'all to come help. I don't know what kind of childhood this kid is having. I don't yeah. know what, how her parents are raising her, but yeah. I, I'm thinking. A lot of this has to do uh, with her parents. Has to do with her parents yeah. uh, and the political climate. And yeah. we, we got some we got some stupid parents that are telling them, uh, calling cops racist and they're pigs and yeah. they're, they're nothing more than gang members with badges and guns. Yeah, um, we don't know that. I, I'm telling these two people, y'all could have did a lot more. A yeah. whole lot more. Because there's parents out there teaching their black kids that. Yeah. And y'all got <clears throat> body cams on. I mean, and y'all did it anyway. I, I'm starting to think maybe y'all was trained to do this. Yeah, like I said, y'all, some of y'all need some more training. Y'all need to, what they call it, police reform? Yeah. I mean, a, a small child, you shouldn't. She's handcuffed. 
She's not going anywhere. I'm like looking at the bed. It's like two foot of snow. Where is she going? Yeah. Um, and she, she couldn't have ran in that. That snow probably came up to her waist. Yeah. Um, you pepper sprayed her because she wouldn't put her legs in the car. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, damn. I, I find I will find it very hard to believe if you, if you got kids and your kid is having some dr- um, mental, break. mental breakdown, yeah. the cops is called, you're not at home, and you see this video, I'm pretty sure you would not agree with, with these police yeah, officers. Uh, yeah. And she's nine years old. She's scared. Yeah. And I mean, she's got, I mean, she's you, got, pro- more than likely, she's probably got depression. We don't know what's going on. Yeah. She's having some kind of mental breakdown, and you y'all, y'all yeah. made it worse. Yeah. I'm I mean, back to Blue Man. I support our men and women that wear that uniform. Y'all do not get enough credit. All the interactions, yeah. millions of interactions a day. Yeah. And, and Yeah, there's millions of interactions with cops a day, and everything yeah. goes smooth. It's just that when something like this happens, yeah. it's going to be put out there, and it's like, yeah. and that's how they're going to portray cops. Yeah, and y'all have to be smart on this. I mean, what makes y'all think to get that pepper spray out? Yeah. And <laughs> To a nine-year-old girl. You didn't have to do the damn, um, you didn't have to do that. I'm, I'm just, just trying to paint a picture. This I mean, is think about it. You a cop. There's uh, two that, of you. He said, what'd he say? That's it. Give me the damn spray. Yeah. No. I, and you do that, man. It's like. A nine-year-old girl. It that tells me, that tells me the cop lost control of his yeah. emotions. Yeah. You're yeah. supposed to be above that. I understand we're all human. Yeah. But. I remember when I became Trump, wanted to become a cop. They said I couldn't. They said I didn't have the psychological breakdown for it, the psychological makeup. They said That's, he had homicidal and suicidal tendencies. Yeah, they said my credit was bad too, which I can agree with them. My credit was sucks because they check your credit and everything. But yeah. right, but I can't imagine y'all going through all this rigorous testing to become a police officer, yeah. and y'all thrust what? into this situation, and y'all y'all would find this okay, a kid. But like you said, maybe that's how they're trained. Yeah. That, Maybe they was trained. Look, when you're in a situation, they won't get in the car. They're handcuffed. You can't get them in. Yeah. Take out the spray. Yeah, I don't care if it's a damn nine-month-old. If they ain't going in that car willingly, you spray them. But all you had to do was push your ass in the car, close the damn door. Now, to everybody that's watching this video, y'all know I'm conservative. Y'all know I support the our men and women in blue. Yeah. Y'all have to look at this objectively. I think they. I think for the most part, people will. No man. But there's sides where they will just back the blue and the old. You your, cannot blindly support anybody, man, just because y'all agree on a few things. You have to remain objective. In no book, this should be okay. Now, if the kid was nine years old and he was seven foot four, three hundred pounds, so what? If the if the nine year old was seven foot four, three hundred pounds, ain't no nine years old seven I'm foot four. I'm just saying, there's some six feet ones out there though, six two. And they got your hand on your gun, or you thought your okay, life was yeah, in hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's handcuffed. This is a little girl. She's in the back of the she's car. She's nine, and it's two of you. It yeah. was absolutely no need to pepper spray her. No need. I can see the one use. of y'all should have gotten in the back of the car and tried to calm her down. I while see. The- I see the use of pepper spray yeah. as a, a tyrannical use of pepper spray. You know what I mean? You're not following my directions. Yeah. You're pissing me off. You should be bowing down to my authority. Right. So I'm, I'm going to teach you. That's the way I see the use of pepper spray kinda, in that situation. Kind of like uh, the um, – what's the other non-lethal force they use? The um, It zaps the hell out of you. What you call it? Oh, stun um, gun. Yeah. Not a stun gun. <laughs> What you call it? Oh no, I lost it too. What did uh, it's a stun gun, man? This taser. <laughs> Our producer says it's a taser. That's the correct word. <laughs> See, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not a police officer. <laughs> Maybe I just don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Hey. But I do. I have common sense. I have not went through any rigorous training to be a police officer. But common sense should tell you she's handcuffed. It's two of you. This is a little girl. All right. Y'all was called to the scene to help. Yeah. All a right. little girl. Yeah. All right. Let's stop beating this dead horse. Let me say something. As a parent, that in, infuriated me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but then again, I don't think my kids would act like this. I didn't taught them better. 
<laughs> I don't think see. this. I don't think her mama or her dad is teaching her anything. But she could been have a mental yeah. issue. But but so, I don't think she. Well, because when she responded to the cop and said, uh, you, "You're acting like a child," when she said she's a child, she 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 knows better. Yeah. For you to have a quick comeback like that, I mean, it's <laughs> not. I mean, it's a quick comeback, but. She was of clear of mind for her to respond like that. So right. I was, I guess maybe she was just scared. But yeah. it's like, I never see cops using pepper spray anymore. Like all these incidents, yeah. they try to use a taser. Right, right, right. Why don't y'all use that? Why don't y'all bring the pepper spray back, man? Yeah. Yeah, but bring the pepper spray back. Not on a nine year old girl. But I have a daughter. Like Jacob Blake? Yeah. Well. Yeah, but those, those tasers don't work, man. I, if I was you, I bring the I bring the pepper spray back, man. I mean, if they fighting the rest and it, the other one go to the pepper spray, yeah. But you know what they say that that I've had I've been pepper sprayed. Yeah. If you miss and it gets on the other cop, oh, <laughs> you could spray somebody. Try to spray somebody, it blow right back in your face. <laughs> <laughs> the wind start blowing, it gets you and your partner. <laughs> and then the dude you trying to pepper spray, get your gun and beat the shit out of both of yeah, y'all. Yeah, it's yeah. That's why yeah. cops don't like to use pepper spray because it could get on them, it could get on their partner. But, you could totally miss the person you're trying to spray. But that you could spray a bystander. Yeah, that pepper spray works better than that damn taser. I tell you yeah. that. If you can connect, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the only thing. If you miss, uh, all three of y'all are gonna be out there screaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need backup. I can't see. <laughs> I just sprayed myself. <laughs> My partner's down. The victim, he's down too. And I, I shot grandma too. Man, you shot grandma. Yeah. Grandma's coming out the stove. <laughs> Thought you was somebody else. In my humble opinion, yeah, to close you, this out. Yeah. You can't you can't pepper spray. I have a daughter similar to this little girl's age. It was absolutely How old is she? Man. She nine? Eleven, man. She eleven. And I couldn't imagine someone pepper spraying her at eleven. Man. Let alone nine years old. Nine years old. I mean, this is just common sense. I'm like, she said, what did she say? Look, it's cold out here. I'm trying to put you in the car before you catch hypothermia. But if you don't follow what I'm telling you to do, I'm going to pepper spray you in your eyes. If I'm a little girl and I'm on a mental duress, I'm going to try to get hypothermia. I'm not trying to get pepper sprayed. I mean, she, you're she, triggering her not to want to go on a, to stay outside. But, man, come on. If I was nine and I was acting out and the cop said, look, I didn't give you a chance. I'm going to pepper spray you. I'd be like, all right, I'm cool now. Yeah. You know? I can't even imagine what that little girl was going through. Yeah. Putting myself in that position, nine years old, I would have never put myself in that position. Even if I, if I was in a position, I would have complied with the police officer, and that's what I tell my kids. Yeah. Just Make comply. Sure, just comply. You'll have a day in court. There's no need to get injured or hurt. I yeah. mean. It's kind of crazy. I've interacted with cops at that age, and when I when a cop interacts with me when yeah. I was that young, I'm, like, petrified. I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah. I'm like, that's just me, though. Yeah. You was raised right. Yeah. Now they're raising the kids to. I hate the cops. I hate They're the racist. cops. Yeah. To not obey their demands. We don't know what kind of upbringing this girl. I don't know what kind of parents. A lot of things went wrong for this to happen. Yeah. So. Not just the cops. <laughs> yeah. They supposed to be the solution to the problem. Yeah. And a lot of times y'all are the solution they, to the problem. Yeah. But when one thing goes wrong, yeah. they're going to try to paint these people as the bad guys. Yeah. I mean, these two police officers, yeah. I wouldn't say the bad, but they definitely. Y'all need some more training. They was y'all was doing a damn good job. I mean, y'all was man, y'all was doing a damn good job till you pulled that damn pepper spray out. Yeah. And it's you pulled it out when you lost control of your own emotions. Yeah. Y'all was supposed that, to be above all that. That was a damn good point. Yeah. They lost control man, you of don't the situation. See the, you don't see the damn I'm bringing off. it home. I'm bringing it home. The officers, you did a great job up until you lost control of your own emotions. Okay, Captain Obvious. I just said all of that. Why are you repeating? Well, he told her to stop acting like a small child. I mean, she is a small child. I can make mistakes too, you know. Oh, you being a police officer? Huh? You being mean in the police officer? Yeah, when he said that. You can't make mistakes as a cop. Yeah. That's just the way the world works. <laughs> Y'all didn't know that yet? If you're black, you can pull a knife. You can make all kinds of mistakes. Yeah. You can pull a gun. Yeah, Good Morning America will call you on that uh, on that interview in the morning, interview as if you're a victim. Yeah. Jacob Blake, they interviewed that dude as a victim. Come out, this dude had a knife. You can make 500 mistakes, and you will be held as a hero. Yeah. But the cop, they make one mistake. They could have made 99,000 yeah. excellent decisions, been a, the, the solution to all. 
thousand crimes, made mm-hmm. everything better, but you take one incident and they yeah. try to paint these people like they're all bad yeah. and they're just evil people and they're not. Well, so, yeah. well that's all we got to say about that. Okay. Show. Yeah. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah.